Hi, this is a video on the Jetek selfie stick. Now this selfie stick is a non-remote, non-Bluetooth, sorry, or battery selfie stick. This selfie stick just uses the power of your phone to operate the shutter button on the selfie stick, but I'll get into that later on. Now, this cost on Amazon uh, $6.99, and there was no deals on this when I, the time I bought this. So I'll go around the box, and we have a plain brown box with the words Jetek on there, and on the back, Obviously that's the Amazon label. And on the back we have Jetek and their telephone number in the US and the time calling of time, uh, the opening times, the support line, um, email support line, and also their website. And as you can see, it's just a plain brown box. Now in the box we have a Warranty card, which is claims on its lifetime warranty. So we have a warranty card on there. And also if you, you can connect to Jetex via Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram, and then YouTube, you can see some of their products on there. So we have that. And we also have a simple little instruction book. It's quite thick because it's in different, different languages, but, um, that's just the instruction book or instruction leaflet. And we have the selfie stick here uh, as it is. Now, there is a bit of weight to this. I'll give it that. There's some um, weight. It's not as heavy item, but there's some weight to it. We have on the back here of the phone mount here, a mirror. It's a nice, smooth, there's kind of like a, a bit of resistance, but it's still smooth um, mount here to control the mount, and it does go 120 on either side. Now, far as what I can see, the phone does not go into a landscape mode. Sorry, it goes into a landscape mode, but does not go into a portrait mode, but I'll come, around, I'll come across that more later on and this is the phone mount which is foldable out here and it is also spring loaded and we have a piece of rubber at the top here and rubber at the bottom here we have a thumb screw and that's great so we can tighten that up so that I like that we have the Jetex logo here name and we and now we have the shutter button here and we have a nice and I have to say it's one of the nicest um, handles I rubber handles I have come across on a selfie stick other than the anchor one anchor selfie stick um, it is quite nice um, to touch a bit narrow I'll give it that it's a bit narrow but it's one of the one of the nice ones I like that and we have a metal bottom here, because that's metal, not plastic. And we have a lanyard, that a wrist lanyard attached to it. Now, this is how your phone looks in the Jetex selfie stick. Now, I've got my iPhone SE on here, because I always use that as my demonstration for demonstration purposes. Now, this one, as I said, uses a cord now you can see that's the cord there and that's what plugs in to the headphone jack on your phone now if you haven't got a headphone jack on your phone especially the um, iphone 7 up and some of the samsung phones and the lg phones etc they might have removed the headphone jack on there you'll get a dongle that normally plugs into here uh, where you charge it now you connect that to the dongle so this is what you connect to the dongle now with phones like this where the jack plug is there you simply connect that in 
and that will operate now your the shutter for the camera and for the video camera etc so that's what you do now just going around the unit itself on the back here we have a mirror now this mirror in case you are wondering the mirror is for selfies if you want to use the back facing camera so if you want to do a selfie that's how you would do it using the back facing camera so you that's how you'd normally have it in landscape mode and you could take selfies with the front facing camera that way but if you flip it round you use the mirror to line yourself up in the mirror and you can use the back facing camera to do your selfies like so now with this um, particular selfie stick this mount does not go into a portrait the ie doesn't turn that way so for you to do portraits you're going to have to turn the whole entire selfie stick that way to get portraits so it does landscape no problem but portraits you have to turn the selfie stick that way now i'll one thing I like with this uh, particular selfie stick, other than the build of it, is the actual foam mount is very, very grippy. It's like a vice. The springs in here are very, very strong. So it grips your phone like a vice on there. Another thing I like is it has a thumb screw here to tighten. So you can tighten it and lock it into place. It doesn't rely on any notches that are in here at all you can just there is a kind of notches system in there but very faint but you can actually lock it and I love that when you have the thumb screw especially this kind of thumb screw which is quite it's quite large I like that that's great that Jetex done that and the next thing I like is the actual rubber handle it's one of the best next to the anchor ones and the I think it's the Empower ones. They have a very good handle. The Empower slightly beats it because it not, not only has a good textured, um, a good rubber on there, but it's nicely textured as well on the Empower selfie sticks. So next to the Anchor, this is quite a good um, selfie stick handle. Now, when it comes to the length of these, they give you a length which normally includes, which measures from the bottom of the handle to the top of the mount. Now, when it comes to selfie sticks or selfie stick tripods or poles, um, I don't go by that because when you hold the handle, depends how big your hand is, you're losing some inches there. So I don't count, I don't go by the actual overall length, what they state, I go by the actual length it extends out to, which is these that point here, which is the top of the handle to the bottom of the mount. And on this particular selfie stick, these two points here, it, it measures 20.5 inches, which is quite long. I give, do give it that. It's a very long selfie, selfie stick. It's not obviously extra long, but it's quite long considering that it falls down quite small so I like that that's really good from Jetex now next thing I always um, look at is the actual um, stem itself now this opens out like a car aerial it doesn't need like the old-fashioned car aerials it doesn't need to be that means you can pull it out and friction keeps it together you don't have to twist to lock it in friction keeps that together which is quite good and this particular one from Jetex is quite stiff I, I have to admit it's quite stiff to pull out which is quite good that as so long as it's stiff to pull out as such it's quite good that shows that you can put a nice weighted phone on here and it doesn't slide back in so that's quite good now as for the sizes of phones because I'm going to get axed that I have tried my wife's Note phone and it fits in here 
no problem and I've tried my son's iPhone XR and that fits in here no problem so this can if you can take a Samsung Note which is the latest one it can take a lot of phones because it's it does extend out quite big so don't worry about that as I said the only thing you've got to bear in mind is with those newer phones you do not have a jack plug hole so you have to use the dongle with this particular selfie stick now next I'll try and I'll leave it that way now next is the shutter button now remember this does not have its own power it uses sorry about that that's my grandfather clock now this doesn't have its own power it uses the power of your phone to operate the selfie um, sorry the shutter button now I always do this when it comes to my videos when it comes to selfie sticks some selfie sticks mute the actual sound of the shutter button some do that some don't so we'll see if this one mutes the sound so I'll press the button and it this one does and as you've seen there it took a photograph and it does mute the sound so you have to be aware of that when you're taking photos uh, especially if it's a bit of a noisy place you really got to watch um, depending on your phone how it takes photographs you got to watch like on an iPhone you'll see it produce the picture here when it takes it it will be up here it, it all depends on what phone some phones show it in the corner here you have to watch that because you do not get the sound so I'll go to video and obviously I'll get that obviously it's a circle here to show it's not recording and once I press the button it's a square and now it's recording and to stop it press the shutter button and that stops it so this mutes the shutter button so be aware of that now another thing which I've noticed with this Jetex um, selfie stick is have you if you've noticed on my past videos I've always used my iPhone SE with the case no problems this one seems to have a problem with this particular case now it's a Spigen case that I have on this iPhone and it has a problem with it now I did say to you that this can stretch to any size phone obviously this way no problem but what I have noticed and I'll try and get it close to the camera if you can see here the top of the mount doesn't stick out now most mounts this bit here is straight so it clamps down on your phone like that if you see on here it's at an angle now when I put my phone in its case and put it on here it wants to rip the case off so it tugs on the case here now it could be that it's this particular case it's doing it with and if I put another case on there it might not be it might be different because as you can see with this case it has a beveled edge and it could be because of that so be aware of that and what case you use because as you can see with this phone it's at an angle and it will try and pull the case off because it's such the spring is such really strong so it will try and pull the case off so be aware of that when you're going to use this um, so when you buy it test it with your cases to see it doesn't do that because as I said it, it tends to want to pull it off but otherwise the grip on this for your phone is very it's excellent absolutely excellent to hold your phone now we come to the part of video which is my two pence worth now I'll go with the advantages of this I like how the construction of this and it's some weight to it I give it that it's not that it's light there's some weight to it it's light but there's some weight if you know what I mean it doesn't feel cheap I give it that it doesn't feel cheap at all and it feels so similar to the anchor um, selfie sticks um, I like the rubber the only thing that they should have done was put a bit of dimpling on there just to give it more grip but it, it's all right I like the shutter button feels very sturdy 
and quite quality so I give it that as well from Jetex. I also like the top part here uh, where the mount meets the uh, stem um, because it has this kind of thumb screw on there so you can tighten it down so you'll get some longevity with that which I like because most manufacturers when they're building just a selfie stick and these, day, these days either put a small screw there which requires a screwdriver after constant use and um, frequent use it requires a screwdriver to retighten it but that has the um, thumb screw which I like I like the mount absolutely adore this mount in the way how it grips your phone uh, and the tightness of it is very what is one of the tightest grips uh, phone mounts I came across the only thing um, well I'll get that about the disadvantages in a minute and I like the actual stiffness of the stem coming out and that's great and the metal button to it as well so it does feel when you have this as quality now the disadvantages of this selfie stick first of all oh, oh one thing I did have I actually forgot it has one seam down the front here it would have been great if it had two seams but it's still strong enough to hold heavy phones so I I can say that's all right it's all right for that now the disadvantages are with this selfie stick one of them has to be the top here because that does not come out flush and it comes at an angle you have to be aware be aware if you've got a case on here it might want to rip the case off um, so be aware of that that's um, a disadvantage another dis disadvantage is you're going to have to bring your dongle with your phone if it does not have a headphone jack because to operate that shutter button you need to plug that into the headphone jack um, on the dongle if your phone does not have a jack plug uh, for headphone, headphone jack plug on there um, you have to bring the dongle so it's another extra item you have to bring so that's a disadvantage otherwise than that otherwise otherwise for its price it is not a bad selfie stick for its price it is not a bad selfie stick and it's quite small so ladies this can fit into a clutch bag um, or a small um, bag and as for fellas um, it's not girly looking at all and you can slip that into a coat pocket no problem and it's not bulky even with the mount on it isn't bulky at all as I says I'd say it again you just have to bring the dongle if your phone doesn't have a headphone jack that's the only thing and it mutes the sound of the shutter so that's another disadvantage but otherwise if you're looking for a nice little compact selfie stick to take take with you on holiday uh, you can't go wrong with this Jetex one now if you've got this selfie stick from Jetex please let us know down in the comments what you've what experiences you've had with this and what your thoughts are about it let us us know down in the comments section if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you don't like it give it a thumbs down I'm easy either way thanks for watching